created life. God, you came amongst us in Jesus Christ, was crucified, buried, and resurrected, offering us hope. God, you did not leave us comfortless, but poured your spirit into our hearts. Let us sing together the hymn. When I look at the heavens. Amen. You may be seated, friends, as we are led in the singing of great 
is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Of, of today's realities. You are present in sparing, 
challenging and changing. We celebrate, O oh God, for you are the God who will be present with us come tomorrow when the weather changes. You are the God who will be present with us when our health fails, when our monies run out, and when our youthfulness is gone. You will still be our God. For you are the God who never changes. You're always and will always be the same. So great and mighty God, never changing God, your ways and your character and your mission of love and redemption remind us constantly of who you are. And so in this gathering, we lift up your name above every other name. For no other God is like our God. No other name is above your name. And so with our heads bowed and with our hands bowed before you, we humbly beseech you for your forgiveness. For we have marred your image and we have listened to another voice. We have chosen another path and have done our own thing. Merciful and compassionate God, grant us your forgiveness. When we have abandoned our responsibilities because we want the plans to fail. Forgive us when we have allowed this unity and discord to rule and govern our conducts instead of partnering with you and with each other. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, for we have rejected your call to partnership, to work with others, to work with our churches and, and to work as pastors together and to work together as a parish. Gracious Lord, you know that through our selfish and self-centered ways, we have made our world a violent place. Instead of love, we harbor hatred. Instead of forgiveness, we hold to malice. Instead of peace, O oh Lord, we preach and push war. We have fostered a culture of violence by keeping silent instead of speaking, by knowing and not reporting, and by teaching our children how to fight and to hit back instead of promoting peace. Oh Lord, we have allowed corruption to become part of our daily lives. When we offer payments for a quick path, cutting lines and bribing police and using our position to guard our own selfish gains. Lord, have mercy upon us, for with dirty hands and two-sided lips we, we come seeking your mercy, for it is your nature, O oh God, to forgive. Hear the prayers we offer, see the brokenness of our hearts, and grant us the assurance of sins forgiven. Breathe upon us afresh this morning, mighty God, and infuse in us and in our souls your life and your praise, that we may worship you as you deserve in this place. O oh Lord our God, be God in this place this morning. Move in a mighty way amongst us. Move, O oh God, in a mighty way within our hearts and, and raise our spirits to a consciousness of your presence. We thank you. We praise you. We adore you, our God, creator, redeemer, and sustainer. Amen.
Amen. Brothers and sisters, it's good to see you gathered here this morning. And this the 53rd annual general meeting and closing service of the Clarendon Baptist Association. We have come from near and we have come from far. And we have come to do one thing, and that is to lift up the name of Jesus. Can the church say Amen? Living in partnership from the toll gate circuit of Baptist churches, followed by songs of praise and affirmation led for us by the mineralized singers. Make sure that chime up. 